I'm going to make this video short and sweet because last time I got fussed at by somebody for rambling on. I've been accused of that from time to time. But I make way too much money on these videos to lose a customer, you know what I mean? So, the question is, do you need to go fill this bottle? How much should it weigh? Now these are 30, what they call 30 pound. Uh, it doesn't matter because whatever you got, look on here and you can see a TW. That stands for tar weight. Tar weight is a fancy way of saying empty weight, okay? In this case, this one's 24.8 pounds. Tar weight is 24.8 pounds. Okay, so get that number in your head and then get your bathroom scale and we're gonna figure it out. So let's take a look at the actual numbers here now and uh, the actual weights and figure out how much this bottle has in it versus this full one over here. But don't take that number as Bible because some are aluminum, they lighter, various manufacturers have slightly different weights. It's not that critical though. Most 30 pounds are gonna be in the neighborhood of, of 25 pounds. And yeah, that it's pronounced tear weight, unless you're a coon ass. So let's go ahead and weigh a full one, just to kind of get a reference point. That's 53.2 there. So if we divide that out, we'll see that we've got 24, 28.4 pounds of butane in there. And a gallon of butane weighs 4.24, so that comes out to 6.8 gallons. And 30 pounds would be about seven and an eighth gallons, but you gotta leave some room for expansion. And even though there is a pop valve on these things, relief valve, you don't wanna be having butane blowing out everywhere. So that's automatic. In fact, these new valves uh, on these tanks will shut off when the tank is full, when they fill in it. They don't have to use the bleeder like they used to. That's what they call worm proof. So there's the one I've been drawing out of. It weighs 39.8 pounds. If we take the tear weight away from it, the empty weight, which is 24.8, that means we got 15 pounds of butane left in that tank. We divide that by the 4.2 pound per gallon for butane, and that leaves us with 3.6 gallons. So, you know, a little more than half full, is that right? A lot of places, probably most places, will charge you a flat fee uh, for the size of the bottle, regardless of how much they put in it. So, you know, it kind of helps if it's empty. That's the one thing I like about Tractor Supply, though, is they just charge you by the gallon. So I can go get this thing topped off and just, you know, add two point, whatever gallons it takes, and that, that's all they'll charge me, so that's kind of nice. So theoretically, a 30 pound cylinder will hold seven gallons, but in reality, I don't think you're gonna get seven gallons in there. And a five gallon, what we know, call a five gallon, the smaller ones, you're probably gonna get about four and a half gallons. But the tear weight will be stamped on the smaller ones, any size bottle, it'll have the tear weight. So you can always back that out of the weight and see just how many gallons you got in there. There's other ways you can get a rough estimate of how much is in there. Some people pour hot water over the tank and try to see where the temperature change is. But if you want a you know, good accurate way and you want to see just exactly how much you got, this is the way to do it. I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, 